Nigga been in that airport all day. Nigga been working. Chilling right now. This is what I'm about to get into. About to get into some of that good. Uh, the flood warning. Out right now, 240,000 downloads in the first four hours. I don't know, niggas are saying the downloads, there's something wrong with the downloads and it's being tampered with and all sorts of other shit, but I don't got no control over that, my nigga. I ain't no computer geek. I make music, man. I ain't really worried about all that other shit that they talking about. They on some other dumb shit. Out here in uh, Austin, Austin, Texas. It was a real good show. I appreciate all the, uh, the love I got when I came out tonight. It was a real good look. I mean, the crowd wasn't too big, you know. I heard the, you know, the promotion for the show. They did it like some last minute type situation, but regardless of what you know the turnout was, they was they was rocking with us out there tonight, man. They was rocking with the whole Young Money. They was rocking with Weezy. They was rocking with Stunner. They was rocking with everybody, man. The band and the crowd wasn't that big, so shout out to everybody out in Austin, Texas. You know what I'm saying? I speak on the behalf of Young Money and the whole Cash Money when I say we greatly appreciate the love. Great motherfucking show. Everybody asking, uh, what's next for J Mills? You know, if you want to know what's next for J Mills, then, you know, all you got to do is keep your eyes and your ears open, man. For the whole 2010, my whole objective is just flood everybody with music. That's what the whole, that's what the whole flood situation is. With the whole, uh, the flood warning, and I'm about to put a mixtape out every month. That's really the whole, the whole science behind the shit, man. Just flood people with music. You know, uh, we are Young Money is in stores. Um, Thank Me Later is coming. That's Drake's debut album. Shout out to my boy Drake. The Rebirth is coming. Shout out to uh. Big homie Wheezy, Priceless is in stores. We are Young Money is in stores again. And uh, after the rebirth, you know, I don't really know what's gonna happen. We haven't really sat down and figured that out yet, but Nikki is on fire right now. So it would only make sense, you know what I'm saying, for Nikki to definitely drop an album this year. We ain't trying to really take away from nothing. Why you hot, why you hot, you gotta move on it. You know what I'm saying, but with me, it's more so just, just flood with music, man. I'm not, like when I came over here to Young Money, I came over here and told Wayne I, I didn't want no release date. I didn't want, I didn't want to come over here and have him feeling like I think it's the J. Mills show. Like, I just wanted to come over here and work. And that's really still where I'm at with it. Like, I don't really need no release date. Like, all I need is a platform. And he gave me the biggest platform that anybody ever gave me in my career. Aside from, you know, Diddy calling me to do the making of the band, the battle put me on MTV. Be clear, I wasn't trying to be in the band. I wasn't up there auditioning and whoever won makes the band. Like, I wasn't never trying to be in the band, no disrespect, but he called my peoples for me to come down there and battle Ness. So that's how that situation happened. I wasn't trying to be in no band, but other than Puff giving me that look, like Wayne putting me with this whole Young Money situation been the biggest shit of my, of my career that I could really say. Like I never really been on a big tour with buses and a band and pyro and you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. I never really experienced no shit like that till I got around here with this Young Money situation. And it's all love, man. Like it's times when you might go places and perform for 5,000 people, 3,000, 4,000 people, but it's times where I done came on stage with Lil Wayne and we performing for sold out arenas. We performing for 26,000, 28,000, 30,000. I never, you know, I never experienced shit like that. So just for me to experience that and for when he say, when I say Jay, you say Mills, Jay, and hear everybody scream Mills before I come out, that shit is definitely motivation for me. It definitely keep me going. So definitely want to say thank y'all. Everybody who support and everybody who show us love. That shit definitely keep us going. Oh. Yeah, so we are Young Money in stores now. 
Make sure you cop that if you haven't already. If you have, we appreciate it. We appreciate the support. We appreciate all the support. All support is good support. Uh, we out here on this road right now promoting. You know, we're doing these shows. Wayne's still out here doing these shows. You got to give it up to him, man. Like, ever since I came around this Young Money shit, man, that's one thing I can say about him. Homie do about four shows a week. Like, even if you want to average him out, like, he got some times where he might do more than four. Then he got some times where he don't do none a week. But if you really average out, like, all the shows in the last two and a half years since I've been around, you really do about four shows a week, man. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit to be doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of shows to be doing. And then at the same time, we go in the studio every night, no matter what city we in. We on tour. He want a bus with a studio on it already, like with a booth, like a real studio on his shit. That's how much he love working, and that's what he instill in us. So that's why we go so hard. So a nigga got to respect it when when a nigga like me putting out a mixtape every month or somebody like Nikki is killing the underground scene, killing the internet, killing the mixtape scene, but she's still on everybody's first single. When Drake is killing, when Gutta Gutta put out one mixtape and shut down the internet for the longest with that one mixtape. He ain't never put out no other mixtape. That was his first like real mixtape. You gotta respect it, man. I'm not saying I'm gonna drop a mixtape for every month for the rest of my life, but for the rest of this year, I'm gonna drop a mixtape every month. Not with the same DJs. I got the flood warning out right now with DJ Illwell and DJ Rockstar. You know, hot newhiphop.com. Shout out to them. A lot of downloads on that. Uh, I'm working on something with Who Kid, the Dead Presidents mixtape. That's gonna be fire. That's gonna be fire. The only other mixtape I ever did with Who Kid was Harlem Nights. That was a couple years ago. So, second mixtape we ever did together. Uh, that's the first mixtape I ever did with DJ Illwill and Rockstar too. So, like I said, I got the flood warning out with them. I got Dead Presidents coming. That's a mixtape, and then I got a mixtape with DJ K Slay coming. If you know me and Slay go back for years, like me and K Slay go back for years, 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 deals of deals before deals <laughs> with me. You know, me and Slay go back. And it's just ironic that we never put a project out. We never put a mixtape out. Like, I always was, you know, was able to lend a helping hand when he was putting together his songs for his compilations or his mixtapes or whatever, or freestyles. He was always able to lend a helping hand when getting my shit on the radio, getting my shit heard, and getting me that airplay, getting me them spins, and bringing me up to satellite radio and all that shit. So it's ironic that we never put a mixtape out. So we about to kill him with that. And then me, uh, Illwell and Rockstar, like I told you, the Flood Warning is really only a warm-up mixtape. It's a sampler. It's really getting you ready for the Flood. That's the real, that's the main event. That's what you need to worry about. The Flood Warning is killing. And if you had, if I had 240,000 download, downloads in damn near four hours and, and, and some change, you should be very afraid of what the Flood is going to be like. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just mixtapes I got lined up. That ain't even the shows in the states that we did. We hitting in the promo uh, promo tour that I'm about to go on right now. I ain't even gonna tell y'all about that. I'm gonna get into that a little later. But right now it's all about this. We are young money. It's all about the YM, CMB. That's what it is. It's your boy Jay Mills. I'm signing off. My voice is getting a little raspy. I'm a little tired. Don't blame it on the weed. Don't blame it on the alcohol. Blame it on the work. That's what I blame on. I blame it on the work, but it's all a good situation. I ain't tripping on it. But, uh, I ain't even gonna twist me nothing up, man. I ain't gonna, I've been in the airport all day. I ain't even fucking with I'm about to give me some rest, man. It's your boy Jay Mills, Forever Mills, Mills ETV. Uh, and whatever else, man. I'm about to go give me some rest, man. Holla at your boy.